hello everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today I want to talk about my voodoo staff now before we get into it I did have a couple of progress video clips showing you what I did in order to decorate this do-it-yourself staff uh, but I since deleted it and didn't realize it so you're not gonna be able to see those but I'm gonna show you what the staff looks like so far okay so keep that in mind um, let's see with your help with this staff, I don't feel it's completely uh, finalized, if that's the word I want to use. Uh, because I don't honestly know what, what else to put on this thing. I'm looking for the voodoo theme, okay? And maybe some skulls or something to put on it, I'm not sure yet. But with your help and your ideals, if you care to comment and let me know. Uh, I want to finish this staff, but with your help, maybe I can do this. I need some ideals. Because I honestly don't know what else to put on this thing. And I've done some research on um, the internet. And I really didn't come up with anything definite. Okay. So hopefully with your help I'll be able to do that. And that's the main reason I'm doing this video. Okay. Is to finish this staff. But I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. Because you know honestly. I accidentally deleted those other video clips. But you'll, you'll get the idea. I mean, it is still a little naked in my opinion. But like I said hopefully we can get this thing finished. With your help. Okay. So what I want to do is show you what the staff looks like. The thing's over six feet tall. So I'm going to have to show you from the side, okay? So we're going to start with the actual top of this thing. Now, as you can see, it is a shrunken head. I have another one, too. And I think I got them from Spirit Halloween. Now, it does have parachute cord. That's what I wrapped the actual neck and incorporated the actual feathers. So, you know, just cover up the blemishes and stuff when you're gluing it to the staff, okay? Now, you'll notice that there is some bones. And it's got these three red rubies on it, okay? And that's one of the ideas. And I also got the long tail feathers here. Okay. And they're quite lengthy too, okay? Now, as you can see, this is what I got so far. Now, I'm going to show you the bottom part, okay? The best way I know how to, to wrap this thing is that parachute cord. Now, you can get this at Hobby Lobby for like, you get a hundred foot for like eight bucks. You can't go wrong, okay? Now, <clears throat> the actual staff itself, I initially wanted to do uh, a witch's staff, but I since changed my mind. And I still got the actual emblems, or the, not the uh, sigils, but they're kind of uh, symbols. I show you like witchcraft type stuff. So I left it on there. I was going to actually cover it up, but it didn't look right, so I just kept it natural, you know what I'm saying? Now towards the bottom, middle of it, well, yeah, about middle, more of the uh, parachute cord, along with some of the feathers again, okay? And as I raise it all the way up, the rest of it's naked, okay? So uh, that's pretty much what I've got done so far on this staff. And what I initially did with this staff is I actually started working on it last year. And I wanted to do something with the staff. But unfortunately, I, ran, I, I couldn't come up with anything. So I just left it sitting in the shed for like a year. I've since resanded it and stained it. And uh, like I said, initially I wanted to do something with it. But it didn't work out that way. Because my mind went blank. I was like, what can I do with that staff? And I just left it there. I went out there about three weeks ago to make a witch's stang, which is kind of like a natural stick staff that has a V and usually has like an iron uh, nail in the, in the bottom of it where you can actually draw energy from the earth. Now keep in mind, I don't practice witchcraft, but I do collect the stuff that pertains to witchcraft because to me it's a Halloween aesthetic, okay? And it looks cool, okay? So, with that in mind, I was doing that, and I was, like, I was looking at my staff, and I'm like, let me do something with this one here, because I wasn't too impressed with the witch's stang after I got done finishing it. It's still sitting out there in a the shed. So, I sanded it all down. I did what I had to do, and I had some video clips based on it, but I've since deleted them. I accidentally deleted them. Didn't realize I did it. So, <clears throat> doing the progress uh, video on those. It's not going to happen, but you get an idea of what's going on with this thing. 
you use a lot of hot glue okay just to put the paracord on there and to glue your feathers to the staff and then wrap it with the paracord but like I said with your help I maybe I can incorporate some more stuff into the staff itself because to me it's just it looks naked okay and that's where I'm hoping you guys will help me out with that situation so with this in mind I'm gonna give you one more update and I'm gonna end this video okay uh, I just got a confirmation from Big Bad Toy Store that my Terra Toonies, Toonie Terrace, Toonie Terrace, I get those mixed up. Uh, they made a Kessler's Wolf from the American Werewolf in London, along with Jack, who's all, you know, dead and decaying. Anyway, they got the, their version coming out, and I just got confirmation that they will have it in their um, warehouse, and eventually they'll let me know and they'll send it out. And then I will do a video on that. I do have... I think two or three other NECA figures coming in. I got Elvira coming in, along with um, was the mummy. I pulled that one off because I already got a mummy, uh, the werewolf from 1941. I think it is it's the Universal Studios werewolf from NECA. That eventually will be coming in, and I got the Teratunis. Probably another Teratunis. I'm not sure what it is, but anyway, those are what what's going on so far. Uh, I do apologize about the lack of updates because, like I said, I've been working six to ten days straight because they don't know how to give people days off, okay? Uh, but anyway, long story short, I will eventually come up with some ideas other than showing you uh, these uh, videos based on the figures that I get in and stuff like that. I like to do some do-it-yourself type things. I might do a wand. I'm not sure yet. Uh, that might be another do-it-yourself type project. Because I got plenty of wood out there. I got a dead tree out there that's been dead for about a year. I can take something off that tree. Okay. All right. But anyway, um, outside of that, for this particular channel, it's really hard to come up with some solid ideas. Like I said, um, I might delve a little bit into my witchcraft stuff because I don't have any videos based on my Ouija board or any of the other stuff. So I might do videos based on those things too, okay? But that's pretty much it in a nutshell, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the next video. You guys have yourselves a good day, okay?